Hey, how's it going, guys? Here's some wrestling news slash breaking news about a certain suspension of a superstar. As you can tell from the title, it's Evan Bourne. Now, I saw this news a couple hours or earlier, like really early in the day, and uh, I was too tired, though, to make an actual video on it or do a commentary, but now that I'm, you know, good to go, let's do this commentary, guys. I want to talk about Evan Bourne's second suspension. Yes, second. Uh, he's been suspended in the past, and it was just recently that he got his first suspension, actually. Which surprises me that he would get a second suspension, you know, so quickly, so, uh, yeah, so close to his first suspension. His first su suspension, you know, uh, he was still the tag team champion with Kofi Kingston, and they, they kept the tag team titles. Even though he was suspended, they just kept him off TV. They didn't even mention Evan Bourne or anything like that. They didn't make up an injury or, some, or something like that. They just took him off TV, didn't talk about him, and Kofi was basically on his own competing in one-on-one -on -one matches, not defending the tag team championships. They didn't vacate them or anything like that. And uh, I think he was suspended for, you know, uh, marijuana. And, you know, when he came back, he, he came back and... The thing is, he came back maybe, what, a month ago or so? I think a month ago, maybe even less, I don't know. Basically, you know, bottom line, it hasn't been too long. So, he comes back, uh, I guess they defend the Tag Team Championships against Primo and Epico. They retain the, you know, the championships, and that's back at TLC, I think. And, you know, just recently at a house show, it was, you know... Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston versus Epico and Primo in a tag team championship match. And what I thought was weird is that Evan Bourne and Kofi lost the championships at a house show. So now I guess this explains why they lost the titles in the first place at the house show. It's because Evan Bourne, I don't know if he's smoking the same stuff or if he did something new, but he got him he got you know he got himself suspended basically he broke the wellness policy so i guess they took the tag team championships off him for that i guess you know i'm thinking Kofi Kingston must be pissed now at Evan Bourne because this is the second time while they're tag team champions that his partner gets you know suspended the first time they were lucky they didn't you know have to vacate the championship or lose it second time though they you know Epico and Primo you know, got their first tag team championships because of Evan Bourne, basically. So, uh, yeah, Kofi should be pissed, and Epico and Primo, Primo should be thanking Evan Bourne, as weird as, you know, that sounds. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, Evan Bourne, you, uh, I don't know what to say, man. You done goofed, you, uh, messed up, you, uh, damn, you, you shouldn't get suspended once again, though, because... I don't know if you guys know this or not, but a, if he gets suspended one more time, by the way, this suspension is for 60 days, so it's double the first amount, which was 30 days, but if he gets suspended a third time, then he's fired, released, so Evan Bourne is on thin ice, and they've fired people in the past for breaking the wellness policy only a second time. For example, Chris Masters. They didn't wait until he got a third strike, they fired him right away. But damn, man, I always get annoyed when I hear about these people breaking the wellness policy because the WWE, you know, if I was a WWE superstar, I would try my best to not break the wellness policy, to not take any substance that would cost me my job. I mean, it's a freaking WWE. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I guess uh, don't do drugs, guys. I'm out. See ya.